All right, so the entire building is 5,000 pounds. There's 25 arches, which means each arch weighs uh, 200 pounds. So these straight pieces on each side are probably about 25 pounds each. The longer ones must be around 45. Uh, so that's all it is, believe it or not. You're better off dealing with one of these modular buildings than dealing with lumber. I mean, a pile of lumber like that's probably 500 pounds more. And it's like 105 out here. It's over 100, I can tell you that. We've got a whole rhythm. I'm not going to get into now. I'll do it later on how we're going to get how we're getting this apart. Yeah, is that better? That's how we move it. Get into position. That's it. That's it. So what you do to expedite the disassembly is to remove all of these bolts along here on all the seams, but leaving a few in. And then you have to leave in at least four on these over, see how these overlap? See how the overlap is offset? That's for structural integrity. But you can remove almost all of these down to say one above where these overlap. And by leaving in just a few, you can now come back and do the following. And you to do this pre-disassembly, you know, you take all these bolts out. Well, you've got to leave a couple in here to keep the structural integrity together. So uh, otherwise, when you go to undo these, and this piece would just be sitting with nothing to hold it, right? It wants to twist around and twist out. So leave a couple of bolts in here until you're ready to remove these, right? Okay. So once you've got all these un removed, and you're ready to remove these panels, these upper two panels individually, you come to the side of the overlapping one, remove these remaining bolts, then you go up on the ladder, remove the remaining overlapping bolts, then push off the overlapping one, the first, this one, be this, push it down, and you come over here and undo these, push this one down. Look closely, you'll see that this one overlaps this one. So that's the one you're going to, when you get these bolts undone, you slide this one down, you push it with a stick with another man down below to catch it. Then you push this one down. When you push this one down, you stay on this side because now the overlap's on this one. The overlap will be on the other, on this side. And that'll be the underlap. That leaves these connected. And you can set them aside like this, see? And you stack the, these are the top, that's the top. You get a ladder like that so you can get up on top and then you take your screw gun, your battery power screw gun, and just start undoing all the bolts up there. And you can, then when you're ready to remove this one, you may have to loosen up some of these on the sides because sometimes when this was assembled, these have an overlap and an underlap between the overlapping, overlapping panels. So how do you assemble one of these? You put the straight piece on first, then you put this piece on, you prop it up. Do the same thing on the other side. Put the straight piece on, the next one, prop it up. Now you come in here, you got two guys, and you hoist this one up into place, and you've got another piece of wood you can put in the center. That, that ladder happens to just work perfectly to hold it, that overlapping lip up. Regardless, you find a way, you got a stick up there to hold that up. I was using a two by four. And now you've got an arch overlapping and it's complete and you can do one of these in less than two hours with two guys in the sun. If you buy one of these in a kit, the manual they give you shows you to complete a complete arch. Do a complete arch and then you hoist this thing up and I'm telling you it won't work. And the only way we could do it was to put a big X in here with two by four. And we hoisted one up that way. Well, you're adding as much in wood as this whole arch weighs. This is 200 pounds for an arch. Well, you get 25 feet of wood going across to make an X to keep this thing rigid. It's the only way it's going up. When you're trying to lift one of these, you're rotating across this flat base. All the way it's going to wind up on one of these edges. It doesn't work. The only thing that works is what I'm telling you. You put one of these in place. You attach this. You prop it up. Same thing on the other side. 
And you pull one of these arches over, make sure you get the overlap like that, right? And you got yourself a building. It recommends using silicon. I say if you tighten everything up, you shouldn't need silicon. If you do, you can go back to it and uh, silicon it when you find a leak. It's your choice. You know, James going up the driveway, he's 76. He rides that motorcycle. He's the only guy I've ever found that can work out here. He works better than Will. He's more reliable than my so-called friends. And he puts in a full day's work. And you get these other clowns out here who are 30, 40. I've hired teenagers. They can't do a thing. Well, he's a super vegetarian. Maybe that's why I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a bean burrito vegetarian. I'll eat anything. But he drinks all this wild stuff. Looks like lawn clippings to me. <laughs> Anyhow, he's healthy and he can work. All right, we're almost halfway.